Hi, it's Alaska. I started a cuddling business with my husband last year. Cuddling has been proven to help people suffering from PTSD, touch deprivation, stress, anxiety, and the elderly. I'm gonna do like a mama bear thing. Relax, lay on me all the way. Paul did support me at first because we thought it was a great business idea. Recently, I found that the clients or the seekers when they come to the site, they're more interested in dating the cuddlers, so that's what made me switch it to a dating site. So go ahead and join free at Date All You Want. I started using my own pictures to advertise. My pictures are just like anything you would see in Sports Illustrated. These are the clothes that you wear to promote the site? Right, I wear these items on the site now. This bodysuit's new, I haven't worn that really, I have to work something out for that. If I'm totally honest, I'd like to wash all of these in gasoline and set them on fire. My husband hates all my pictures being online. He'll get upset and say, you're not posting that. And I say, but I didn't take these for nothing. Paul hasn't got anything to worry about. At the end of the day, it's just business. I'm making money for our family. Paul's not my daddy. He doesn't have to support what I do. He only needs to mind his own business. But I am gonna admit that I haven't been completely honest with him. Paul doesn't actually know that I'm personally booking cuddle sessions. I've been cuddling since the beginning of this whole thing. I don't see the problem with it, and I'm never gonna stop. Okay, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so tell me about <clears throat> your business. Um, my business is a cuddle service. Um, it started out as a service. I had 74 employees in the United States. A lot of people were interested in joining uh -huh. to become a cuddler because, of course, the pay is good. Right. Um, I interviewed about 200. It could have been more than 200 people to make sure that they qualified. They really wanted to do it, and they cared for people, and they were able. Um, so what are the qualifications of a cuddler? Um, could I be a cuddler? Yes, you could be. I mean, what's, what, how would you know? What's the qualification? Um, well, when I'm talking to somebody, I have to make sure that they're have good sound mind, they're in good genuine health. How do you so, determine that? Uh, just make sure they're not ill or handicapped in any way. They can't, you know, be that way if they're going to be taking care of somebody else. Handicapped people can't cuddle? Uh, well, if they're unable to walk or anything like that, how are they going to get to all the cuddles and stuff? Well, you don't so, cuddle standing up, do you? No, you cuddle, you start cuddling standing up. You, just like I met you, I take your hand and I put my hand on top of yours. Uh -huh. um, we engage eye contact like we are now, and then we're standing up hugging. How do you determine if they're, you said that they're mentally okay, how do you determine Mentally that? okay, like I've talked to some people, their demeanor doesn't seem genuine, like they just want to cuddle, they just want to get money. Maybe um, if they seem like they're not clean, they have to have genuine, So you, you have met them hygiene. personally? Yeah. You met 200 people personally? No, a lot of them I talked to over the phone. If, and I get their picture and I also get their driver's license. They also have to fill out a application too. And that comes straight through to, uh, through the internet. I read the whole thing, I look at the picture. If they haven't followed everything, I don't even go through with it. So I can work out a lot just by talking to them over the phone first.